This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. It's time to write a poem! Pick words that you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Or something very, very bad. <laughs> Alright, well, this is where we're going to start using save states. If we want the best ending, we got to use save states. Alright, this is the time, folks. I might, I'm going to try to do every route. Who should we start with? Sayori, Natsuki, or Yuri? We can't do Monica because she's way out of our league. I think there's only like one person in Twitch chat, but hey! <laughs> now, as far as my ranking, I think Sayori's the best. But also, Sayori is the hardest voice for me to do. Yuri's second best, and then I guess Natsuki exists. Yeah, we can start with Sayori. So, oh, wow. So we gotta pick these words, and who likes what? Uh, who likes suicide? Yuri, is there something you need to talk about with us? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> How about happiness? That's definitely Sayori. Hmm. Wonderful. Uh. Imagination. Screw. Okay. Uh, romance. Oh, uh, party! Summer! That. Rats. I'm bad at this. Uh, yeah, the, which, uh, whenever whenever you pick a word, the girl who likes it the most will jump up and down in the air and clap their hands. Rain cloud. Vacation, all I ever wanted. Um, who likes hair? Natsuki likes hair. Promise. Playground. Doggone it. Loud. If that's not Sayori, I don't know what is. Silly. Um, beauty. Yeah! Holiday! Socks! Dog on it! Dance! Daydream! And... Massacre! <laughs> Yuri likes the dark words, apparently. <laughs> Yuri's like, suicide? Massacre? Yeah! <laughs> Freaks out like a little girl. It's like, that's disconcerting. <laughs> Reminds you of a Final Fantasy item shop where the people who can equip it lift their arms. Interesting! I didn't know that. I need to... I, the only Final Fantasy game I've actually played to completion is Tactics Advance, which is really fun, but I haven't played any of the number one. Or I've played a little bit of nine. And that's it. Hi again, Artie. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> ah, nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the Literature Club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Artie. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on! Like, he deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. What's wrong with that? Some of us like our free time, okay? I kind of want to play Tactics Advance sometime. The problem is that game is so huge, it would take ages for me to stream the whole thing. Final Fantasy VI is your favorite. That's the one with Kefka, right? I think that's the one of Kefka. I've heard great things about that one. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wow, Monica, that was a bit rude. Granted, Natsuki's being rude too. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Wow, she gave up way faster than most people who would go into a debate. <laughs> One of the snowballs had a rock in it. Would take up, like, a whole stream. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Especially if you're trying to get all the missions in that game. It takes forever. Super fun, though. I love the mechanics. But, yeah, it, it's, it's definitely a commitment to play. Don't worry, guys. Artie always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. But as soon as I'm not having fun, I'm out. I'm off to Anime Club. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like, cooking, cleaning my room. Don't you have parents? How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? Yeah, that's why I'm totally, like, verbally putting her down. I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Artie can become good friends, too. Nope, I picked your words instead of Yuri's, Sayori, so that's not gonna happen. Uh, um, uh, um, 
S Sayori. Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh! Oh! You're even brought you something today, you know! B wait Sayori! Eh? Me? <laughs> um, not really. Don't be shy! It's really nothing. What is it? <laughs> Never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Oh, what do I do? Uh, I I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. Guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. <laughs> Man, I gotta say, Yuri's sprites are some of the best in the game. <laughs> she has such a wide range of emotion, it's great. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So, any nice gesture free from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy, no matter what. Is, is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. Oh, cool, what book is this? Hmm. Oh, Yurtle the Turtle and other stories. This <laughs> I, I think I can read that one. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? Is she doing this accidentally, or is Yuri, does Yuri know exactly what she's doing? Regardless, she is cute. She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you! I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Whew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Monica's just taking a nap at her desk. <laughs> totally oblivious to all of this. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yeah, for me, I remember my first playthrough of Tactics Advance, I accidentally threw away a key item and I couldn't complete all the missions as a result. It was rather frustrating. There are also tons of mechanics in that game that I don't even really understand to this day. Like a lot of the clan leveling up system. But... It's still very fun. I just think maybe there are too many mechanics in it. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Man. Looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down in the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature-related by myself like this? Well, Yuri just gave you a book. You could at least try starting to read it. I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me. Okay, thank you. But um, I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. You know, I get that. The older I get, the more I'm like, you know, naps are pretty great. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably going to seem pretty lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival's our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. And that's not us at all. <laughs> that's not arty streams. It's not... Well... Arty streams can be a bit dense at times, actually. Intellectual... No. You're good. But it's not all like... It's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. I love how they're talking about, like... No, literature's not dense or, like, stuffy or anything like that. And then MC is literally just, like... Sleeping in the desk right now. Or I guess he's eavesdropping, but he's trying to sleep. <laughs> Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Eh? What do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? Free food. That always works in college. And after they come, we can do so the, the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayori is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Huh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? Wh what kind? Well, well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! <laughs> good thinking. Natsuki's like, did you just volunteer me for this? I didn't sign up for this. Yeah, free food worked on MC. Why wouldn't it work on anybody else? Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes! Or we could just pay our good friend Little Debbie a visit. That works out perfectly! 
That wasn't why you suggested it? Cupcake, speak to my creative tummy. <laughs> Monica's like, oh boy, <laughs> this is my vice president. Cupcakes it is then. <laughs> I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all. Man, this... This guy's kind of a jerk, but he's also pretty relatable, to be honest. Say we can put her minds to Fanes and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get, get on my case about Fanes. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Speaking of her eyes... Bah! I open my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. <laughs> Peekaboo. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry! Wait! Actually, I'm not sorry at all! It's your fault for sleeping like that! This isn't the napping club. Oh, I should have joined that one. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. You'll need to get used to it. Okay, I quit. <laughs> Don't say that so loud! I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. Ye gads! Imagine watching anime. What? How embarrassing. That's almost as embarrassing as playing dating sims. Oh, wait, what? It's true, though. Yeah, that's why I don't want you talking about it in front of my high school crush! <laughs> I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. Heh <laughs> It's what I do best! That's a problem! What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh? Not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? Uh, that's, um... It's a secret. I knew it. Come on! At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. What? She's cute. What are you talking about? I mean, nobody wears bows in their hair anymore, but you know what? It, it works for her. Huh? Sayori glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all over here. If that's Sayori with a bad hair day, like, dang, she gorgeous. <laughs> ah! I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. What? I mean, it's... It's perspective. <laughs> and there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right there. Okay, well, that's just going a little too far, Artie. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But but nobody would notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't really care about that. This guy is... You know, he's, he's definitely not the worst, but... uh, Actually, you know what? Out of the three dating sim protagonists, DDLC's MC... Tomoya from Clanad and Yuji from Fruit of Grisea. MC from DDLC might be the best, to be honest. He, I mean, yeah, he's definitely a <laughs> he's definitely a very blunt jerk, but like, eh, it's it's kind of a tie between him and Tomoya. It, it's it's hard. But this guy is not very nice to Sayori. She, Sayori deserves better. Hey, you meanie! I don't you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. She's she's expressing her individuality. Also, who likes buttoning up their blazer? Nobody. <sighs> Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Maybe she don't want one. Also, that was uncalled for. Huh? Ah, that's super mean! Sorry, but you'll fake me later. <laughs> oh, I hate I hate that attitude. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Oh yeah, I forgot about that CG. Uh how do I. Wait, what's the button to m You can make the text box disappear somehow. How do you make the text box disappear? No, you know what? Never mind. If I want to use this as a phone, I probably won't use this as a thumbnail. If I want to, I can find it online. It's fine. <laughs> uh, this is so funny. This is a weird CG, by the way. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. Well, I mean... Yeah, it's a little weird. Eh? D don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. Okay, well, 
don't go calling the cute girl stupid, bro. That's not gonna end well for you. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Ah! I, I guess. Hey, be careful! The button might come off! Why is this one so hard to close? Man, she is just so fat. My goodness. I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this fiend even fit you properly? Heh <laughs> It did when I bought it. <sighs> if you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. Again? <laughs> Don't say that out loud! I mean, it's a weird thing to say in front of your friends. Like, it is. <laughs> anyway, changing the subject. You look much better now, so... Ah. Why does it feel so strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like this? Because she never does it. <laughs> but it's so stuffy. Ugh. It's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Because they didn't they didn't want to draw more sprite work for it. Whew. That's so much better. Sayori puts her arms out and twirls around. Aw, oh, that's cute. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? That's not how that works. What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let me you do things like this. And that's good. And you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. That's just a flat-out wrong statement. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things! Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. You just mentioned that your boobs were growing bigger. That's kind of a weird thing to mention. Ah, jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. Hee <laughs> hee! I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. I, you know, it's easier to take care of other people than yourself, to be honest. I find it gets much easier for me to be like, Dude, you need to take better care of yourself. You need to do this and this and this. And then, like, I'm like, wait, I'm not doing any of that. Whoops. I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. That's creepy. You're doing it again, Sayori. Oh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone! There! Monica is here! He gets! Did Monica just see me buttoning up Sayori's blazer? Oh, no. Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Already, I can't wait to read yours. Oh, wait till you read mine. The first word is suicide. It's really good. <laughs> yeah, same. I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to read a poem? write a poem last night? Oh yeah, first word is suicide. It's gonna be great. And the last word was massacre. <laughs> it's like, what kind of poem did you write? You'll just have to read it, you know? Y yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration, since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. <laughs> How very posh of her! I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. Meanwhile, Sayori's handwriting looks like someone barfed on it. You can't read it. I do the same myself. 